Conor McGregor versus Jake Gyllenhaal in a reboot of Roadhouse. Now, I haven't watched the original Roadhouse, but over the last month, a lot of people have been talking about this movie. Some say it's good. Some say it's average. Some say they should have left the original alone. I say, let's find out. Today, for the very first time, we will be watching Roadhouse. If you want to see my full reaction to this movie, make sure you check out the Patreon for that and exclusive content like trending topics and trailer reactions. With that said, my name's Grant. Welcome to NMD Movies. This is my first time watching Roadhouse. Let's get it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's uh, Post Malone. We got a cameo right off the jump. Hmm. Hmm. We got action right off the bat. I'm down with the action right off the bat. Hit that man with the right. Come on. They said his name is Carter. Down to the leg. Ugh, in the gut. In the face. It kind of looked video gamey. Let's go to work, kid. Let's go to work, kid. I mean, it's crazy because look. This man been in there fighting all night. He tired. He bloody. It's really not fair, to be honest with you. No he quit? Man, that man just pulled the J. Cole. He said, I'm out. I quit. Okay, what is she doing? Who is She's recruiting for somebody. Yeah, they said Jake got into extreme uh, shape for this one. Hey, kudos, my guy. Easy money. You just lost me 500 bucks, asshole. Damn. You sure you thought this all the way through? Come on now. You about to get your ass kicked, brother. Keep going. Y'all gonna take your knife? You just let him get away? He just stab you like that? Just cut. You got to keep the knife in there so the wound doesn't bleed out. Oh. Oh, shit. And voila. So listen, I, I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. But lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. Coming every night, they trash the place. The cops are no fucking help. She recruiting fighters. We need somebody who can protect the roadhouse. Carter seems good with his hands. No, you'd be better. 5K a week, just for a month, and I can put you up. 5K? Sorry. Excuse me? I mean, it's 20 grand. And judging by your car, you need that shit. Mm -hmm. Well, I like my car. This ain't Man. the Holiday Inn, pal. I'm losing. Man, sleeping in this car. You definitely need to take that deal. She gonna give you money and she gonna put you up. Only thing you gotta do is just beat up a couple people. He gonna go through it. Oh, uh, no. Nah, he stopped. He stopped. Okay. This man stopped on the track. He's a different kind of crazy. Come on, brother. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Get the hell off the roads. That's crazy. You're a crazy dude. <laughs> You're a crazy dude. Yeah, call Frankie. There was a uh there was a case where the police they had this lady handcuffs and she ended up getting hit by a train because they let they had the car parked on the train tracks. Did you see Fred on your way in? The train on the bridge. Not the main bridge, but the old one beside it, the historic. We don't know Fred. Got a book on him. Very interested. It's full of local color and all. It's great for tourists. Thank you. I'm Charlie, by the way. Local townsfolk send for a hero to help clean up the rowdy saloon. 
and alone? <laughs> oh yeah, man, he played in um, Snowfall. Steven. Don. Mm -hmm. Steven. Oh, uh, he's here to work at the Roadhouse. It's just the Roadhouse. Oh, so no, no name. Uh, well, no, well, yeah, kind of. It's the Roadhouse. It's just up the highway pass, mile marker 77. Take a right. I will thank you for the book, but um, I don't, I'm on uh, a budget. No, no, it's on us. Welcome to Glass Key. Welcome to Glass Key, where nothing is free. You're working at the roadhouse where it's about to go down. You're about to fight Conor McGregor. Are you going to win? You're about to fight Conor McGregor. Are you going to win? Last one. No, no. Why do they call it a roadhouse? Yeah. I'll get a black coffee. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't have that. Sorry. All right, so if I'm hiring somebody to protect uh, somebody, I'm going to tell them to meet me at the roadhouse, and then I'm going to have somebody try to fight him to see how he holds up. Because if you can't take on one guy, you can't take on a big group. It's like a trial period, like a trial test. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton, big fan, man. Nice place you got here. Peaceful. Yeah, peaceful, all right. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to perform up here. Uh-oh. The bad guys. He played in Sons of Anarchy. The, uh, no, the Mayans. He played in the Mayans. You about to get whooped. Time to go to work. Time to go to work. Well, who the fuck are you, Mr. Smiley? <laughs> Mr. Smiley? <laughs> Mr. <Yeah>. Smiley. <laughs> we had this idiot grin since I walked in. Mm. Now, you gonna pay for that? Ah, oh, come on, man. Uncalled for. Those are your bikes out there, right? Yeah, mine's a red one on the right. Hey, where are you going? I just wanted to get you outside so I could ask you and your friends respectfully to leave the premise. Pretty please. Fucking kill you. Do you have insurance? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm not the one that's gonna fucking need it. Mm. Too much talking. Hey, Frankie. Yeah. Is there a hospital nearby? Literally, who gives a shit? Shut the fuck up and fight, asshole. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too I'd say, like, depending on the traffic, what time of day. Mo, shut the fuck up. I kind of like Mo. Mo's kind of funny. Why, it's not fair. <laughs> oh, oh I just slapped you. Are you all right? What? <coughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, there I go. <laughs> oh, shit. Mmm. <laughs> See, I'd rather you punch me. A slap is this disrespectful. <laughs> Fuck, man. No, not Mo. Oh. Oh, I'm Ooh. Oh, my God. Mm. In front of everybody. Oh, uh, I think you broke my arm. No, I definitely broke your arm. Okay. Only 20 minutes away. Okay, I said 25, okay? God, I don't think I can ride like this. Fuck. Guys need medical attention. Oh yeah, I don't give a shit. That's disrespectful. You gonna pimp slap me, beat me up in front of everybody, then give me a ride? And then the one, uh, that one, I think. Thanks for the right man. Bad. Yeah, but we like him though. Of all the guys, he's our favorite. Uh oh, she may be a love interest. There's always a love interest. Before you go, I really wanted to say thank you for all the new patients. You're welcome. I just love when my ER is packed full of irresponsible idiots. That way, the normal people with real emergencies have nowhere to go. A rage-filled dickhead who likes to hurt people for fun. Hmm. Technically, I hurt people for money. There's a difference. And how's that better? I'm just clarifying. You know I'm supposed to call the cops on guys like you, right? 
Only I don't think they really care about Ragefield dickheads around these parts. You're bleeding. That man got hit. Don't get him a girl the first day, first night. So you like to fight? Mm. Oh. You ever win? Never lost. You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. Then why do you do it? I agree with what he said. Nobody wins in a fight. If there's any young men watching me out here, watching this channel, fighting is dumb, fighting is stupid, and nobody wins out of a fight. Especially now that more people have weapons. Back in the day, you used to be able to fight, go your separate way. Not anymore. Fighting is stupid. I will tell any young person that. Because I thought fighting was cool growing up but you but honestly you should only fight life or death situations trying to protect a loved one because i've seen not seen but i've heard of people fighting because they think it's cool and they actually hurt somebody and their life is ruined you ruined their life and you ruined your life thank you for my ted talk here it is one week salary and cash as requested thank you appreciate you why is it called the Roadhouse? Is it Roadhouse one, one word? Yeah, that's a joke. It's a Roadhouse. But it's called the Road House. Get it? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. It's mine. It came with the bar. Listen, you are more than welcome to stay there, but I highly advise you sleep with a snorkel. Okay. Also, mm -hmm. watch out for the crocodile. The crocodile? Killed Chauncey last year. Who? The Doc Masters Pomeranian. My uncle named the boat, too. The boat. I wonder what it's like living on a boat. I think I wouldn't mind it. If you're a single person, not if I had a family. I have a family, but you know what I mean. You best watch out for that damn crop. So I'm still trying to figure out his backstory. But you come into a new town and you're ruffling feathers. <laughs> you're going to meet the big dog. Ah, okay, this makes sense because... This they actually filmed this like um I remember it now. They actually filmed this at a real UFC event. Dalton. There's no doorbell. Probably because it's a boat. The boat. I was gonna leave after that, but now you're here. I'm hoping you're different. Maybe it'll get better. Thank you for the food. Good morning, Dalton. Hey, Dalton. Mm. Man, that man's a hero. He the man around the town. Sick of it. Get your ass Bring those back or pay for this. Uh-oh. Yeah, huh? uh -oh. Hey, we need you. Hey, we need you. Get off the computer. We need you. <laughs> Get out of here, all of you. <laughs> Dang, they didn't learn they listen. What? Uh Oh, uh, he go. They, uh, yeah, yeah. He don't want no problems. Yeah. Right. We don't want no problems. We don't want no problems. I hate those angels. Where's your dad? Just sad as other job. It's kind of hard to make a living on selling books. The bookstore was actually my mom's idea. She passed away. Where's she? Oh, she died last year. I'm sorry to hear that. Shit happens. Damn. Hey, Dalton. See you later, Carl. Was there like a town meeting or something? <laughs> That's just how it is around here, man. I mean, it's a, it's a gossipy sort of island. So if the good people heard about you, you best believe the bad people heard about you. The villain of the movie heard about you. What I heard is that you're all a bunch of fucking pussies. That's what I heard. Mm. Was Del. Let me talk to this genius Del then. You can't. He's still in the hospital. Man. Son of a bitch. What'd you think was gonna happen? Okay, let's keep the wrist nice and loose, okay? Sounds good? Okay, perfect. You can go ahead. They're gonna throw this man off the boat. Find me whose idea was it to hire these uh, dumb fucks in the first place? Yours, boss. You're all supposed to have this job done by now. I still think we can scare them off. I, what did I say? I told you, throw them off the boat. Loose. I get it. It's a little bouncy, but keep it nice and loose. That's all you have to do. Okay? Easy. Okay? Come on now. 
acts all nice and shit, like he's Mr. Rogers or something, but then, man, he hauls off. He hauls off. He beats the living shit out of you. That was a brilliant analysis. Well, maybe it's time we get your old man involved. What did you just say? Hey, let me talk to you for a second. Oh, Lord. Hey, everybody. I know we're at a bar right now, but... I mean, that's kind of dumb. Sit out. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. I would have been like, brother. You're getting paid. You do it. Step back, punch. Woo! Now kick him. Now kick him. Look, he protected the bar while also training people how to protect the bar. That way, when he leaves, he'll leave him with somebody. You know, I think I'm getting pretty good at this. You're a natural. Don't forget to lift with your knees. Yeah, I mean, I don't like bullies. So, used to box them in college. So, hit the bag? Why? Oh, University of Miami. Let's go, baby. It's all about the you. I feel like being a bouncer would be the worst job ever. You got to stay up all night. You got to deal with drunk people. You got to fight people. I mean, yeah, it's cool to throw people out the, 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 the bar, but golly, just look at this. Eventually, they're going to run into one of these dudes who, wow. Yeah, they're going to go into somebody. They're going to try that with somebody who they can't beat up, and they're going to have to get knocked down. They're going to get whooped, and then Jake going to have to take, going to have to uh, fight for him. Hey, no, fucking no. Uh, what? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Again. Again? Never met. Pick these up in the morning, Jim. I mean, that's dangerous letting him walk home by himself. Yeah. Oh. Just a little slap. So I guess he gonna lose in the UFC. That man having nightmares. Being a UFC fighter, that's got that's gotta be a crazy job too. Goodness sake. The training, the cutting. Fucking poetry. And then if you get knocked out, oh lord, everybody didn't see you get knocked out. Best conch chatter of the keys, so I've read. Conk. It's conk, not conch. Reminds me of uh, Fast and the Furious when Paul Walker wanted the tuna sandwich. I'm a little aggressive around here. From the girl he liked. Even the cops aren't always as helpful as they should be. If you cause trouble to the wrong people, you could get hurt or worse. Mm. Or worse. I like your hair. You did a nice job. Fuck Frank. Look at that boy. He can fight. And he got a little bit of game to him, you know what I'm saying? He said, I like that hair. Now, we know in the movies, sometimes the bad guys, they hurt the love interest. So please don't hurt, don't hurt the love interest. She seems like a nice woman. She's a, a doctor or a nurse. And then she's, at, she's working at a restaurant. She loves the community. We want her to make it to the end. That's my uncle. Come on now. Just uh, kidding. Just That's my uncle. And he was a tough bastard. Build this place in the 60s in the South. That dude didn't fuck around. I want to be worthy of that. Hey. Hello. Laura Ride? I oh, know. You have a good night, Laura. I'm going to okay. walk. Laura. I like her too. She's cool. Don't nothing happen to the love interest or Laura. They both of them seem very nice people. I thought they were just tailing him. Oh, shut up. Just... Uh. Fuck up. Fuck. Sucks. Try the shit. Oh. Golly, they really gonna take this man out. Ah. 
Where's the envelope of money at? <gasps> Are you okay? I got hit by a car. Golly. How you gonna try to take somebody out and not finish them? Uh, you're a real pain in my ass. Oh, there you go. Just shoot him. If you talk, you're gonna lose. You Open tonight will look more like an accident. Drunk driver, less questions that way. I'm gonna just shoot you. Can I ask a question? I mean, I'm just some guy. Oh, hell, it ain't you. It's the roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're swimming with the fishies, buddy. Will he kill somebody? Why would I kill you? Well, that was stupid. I'm just gonna go right back up. The crocodile. That boy threw book and that crocodile's like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get the shotgun, the person, I'm, I'm. Body, cocks hide their foot. That's why no one believed me about Chauncey. Chauncey? My dog. Oh, oh, that's, that's what she said, the, the Pomeranian. Drugs, probably. Why do you think they call it the keys? Mm, keys for kilo. Because of the reefs. You see, this area by the roadhouse, it's just not deep enough. Boats to run aground. Maybe they want to they want to get rid of the roadhouse so they can get drugs in and out quicker. Get in the car. Boss wants to have a word with you. Who's your boss? Brent. That dude looks familiar. What has he played in? Are you going to get in the car or not? No, I don't think so. Hey, stop. Stop! You did see that I have a fucking gun, right? Use it. But you have a gun tucked in your waistband, so it's really not that intimidating, is it? What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, all I have to do is break your index and your middle finger, and you wouldn't be able to hold that gun. Motherfucker! Fuck you! You cocksucker motherfucker! Yeah. Tell your boss if he wants to talk to me, I work at the roadhouse, and I'm there every night. Every night. I need a doctor now. But the good news is there's a hospital. It's only 25 minutes away. He just being disrespectful to y'all. I'd take that car and really run over him. I'm not running you off of a bridge. I'm going to run over you, reverse, back up, boom. Because the hand-to-hand -hand combat ain't working. The weapons ain't working. You broke your fingers. Yeah, when well, he took my gun. Okay. At least you didn't get eaten by a crocodile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I do. As everything I've been trying to build is going down the drain. Uh oh. This is a prepaid call from. Hey, yeah, shithead. An inmate at Florida Correctional Institution. Uh, his daddy in jail. Say yes. No! I'm gonna say it. Uh oh. Go get my phone. I, uh, couldn't be me. There it's the bad man. Mr. Conor McGregor is the bad man. It's the bad man. What the hell? It's the bad man. Mr. Conor McGregor. <laughs> So, what do you need? Uh, my yeah. Yeah. I leave right away. I leave right away. He's a cop. Feeling brave? That's a nice boat. This may be where they get their first kiss. Nice boat. Great scenery. Where are we going? It's a surprise. 
Golly. Imagine falling off that boat. Oh, Lord. They're not going to find that guy's body. Crocs hide their food. Do they teach that in kindergarten around here? <laughs> they do. That's pretty dope. That'd be cool to do. Some guy named Brant. He comes from one of those old Florida families. They built most of Glass Key. Mm. I was just asking simple questions. I didn't realize this was a date. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's definitely a date. But he don't like talking about his past. You're a nice person. Nice, smart, beautiful. I know what happened. He got beat up. This is a date. Oh. You put those fucking bikes in me way. Who the fuck are you? First off, I'm gonna need more than three sandwiches. I wasn't done talking. Actually, that's where you're wrong, lad. Mm. You're gonna need more than three sandwiches. That's where you're wrong, lad. I thought that was a pretty good impression. Oh man, Connor didn't put a knot upside that boy head. And he got some more sandwiches. I got a message for you from your father. Mm. Jerry son. <laughs> Whoa. Your dad says you've been fucking things up. He asked me to lend a hand. How would my father know? He's in a prison rotting in his cell. Don't be silly. Your father has spies everywhere. My father, I don't need your fucking help. I have it all under control. Mm. Not at all. Not at all. And shoot this guy in the middle of town fucking square. You understand that, right? This is a delicate situation. Then deal with it. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. <laughs> it's just a matter of when. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm sure. I'm sure you're amazing. This... The easy way, one more time. Is that okay? One more time. My man, my man. Wonderful. Go, let's go. Yes. Knox is on a job. Once Knox is on a job, it's like getting robbed. And most people call me Dalton, sir. Most people call me Big Dick. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Your deputy says you had some questions for me. I'd like you to leave here, my friend. I can arrest you. Okay. For what? Doesn't matter. We lose the paperwork. We'll find it someday. Likely the very same day you get shanked in the yard. Oh, Lord. Get out of the fucking car! All right, all right. All right. Get out! Don't make us tell you again. Ah! Damn. Oh. You have a death wish, son. Can't shoot a man in broad daylight. What the fuck do you think you're doing? What the hell? <clears throat> His daughter. His daughter. Gotta be daughter. Gotta be the daughter. He's my father. I knew it. I moved away from the keys, changed my name, took her maiden name. I don't know why I ever came back. Brent. His father is Gerald Brent. My dad used to work for him. Put a lot of money into Glass Key and drugs. A lot of drugs. Until he was gone. He's in prison now. He the one who called Connor. And I guess now my father works for his fucking son. You have to leave Glass Key. Right now. Right now. How much damage are we supposed to do here? Enough to make sure he gets the message. Oh, Lord. Come on, man. They didn't have anything to do with it. They didn't have anything to do with it. Charlie, out the back. Quick. 
Come on, no. I hope nothing happened to the girl or the dad. I'm Ben Grant. <laughs> you must be Dalton. The one and only. I get the impression that you can't be threatened. I wish you could be, but I I'd even bribe you if I thought money would. Really? How much are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> Seven million. I helped build this town. My, my father helped it grow. Here you are fighting this guy. That's what I heard. He was your friend. And yeah, he's done. Everybody can see. Mm. <laughs> see that last hit? That's the one, in, in my opinion. He that's killed him. He killed him. That's why he thinks fighting is stupid. I was definitely the one that did it. Damn. Damn. You've won the fight. You can back off now. You don't. You just keep punching and punching. He's talking about this situation. He ain't talking about the past match. Why don't you just stop? You have a good night. What was the point of that? Was that to let him know you know his secret? Was that to intimidate him? Listen, stop the silly shit. Call in Conor McGregor and let's get this party started. Because when I see Conor McGregor, I may hit him with the wow, wow, wow. Make it hurt as much as possible. Oh, there he is. Hey, nice suit. You look like a shitty pimp on Easter. It's a shitty pimp on Easter. It's been a while since I've been clubbing. Hey, now we about to get us a real match. This is what we all came here for. Ladies and gentlemen. Just what I taught. This roadhouse is mine. Hey, that's my fucking girl, bro. What are you Hey! That man just snatched up your girl. Hey, Connor came in there. Oh no, 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 no. Do not. You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. Hello, man. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh. Oh. Hey. There we go. Grab his foot. Hey. Da, da. Ooh. God. Uh. Somebody got to eye gouge him. What in the world? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> that man was just wanting to fight somebody. Bar fight. <sighs> All right, look, you're trying to play it too cool. Take out Knox so we can stop this. Dalton! What? It's about fucking time. Watch me blow your face. <laughs> I don't even know what he said. <laughs> Something about face. Don't let no one get this close. Hmm. There he is. The world's most notorious fighter, Dalton. Nah, that's you. That's you, Connor. Or Knox. Hmm. Mm -mm. Eh, eh. Hmm. Ha! Ooh! Come on, man. Y'all are acting a fool now. Mm. 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 Damn. God. Uh-oh, it's his turn. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I like this POV. Ah! Oh my God, you scared me. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. Me too. Is he leaving? Wait, 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 wait! Come on now. Dalton, Dalton. What she got? 
She got some drunks? Wait, oh, oh, that's the medical supplies. I was about to say, I know the daughter ain't doing, ain't uh, dealing the drugs. The band never stops playing. That's a real band right there. A lot of y'all would have quit playing, not that band. They watched Knox rip through the gate. Ah! They said, no, nah, we're going to keep on playing our songs. Keep on playing our tune. Now, my friend, you left the, the roadhouse. And, I mean, if you, are you leaving? Oh, man. Get him, Frankie. What, are you leaving? Come on now. I know I wasn't totally honest with you. All right, Brandon wants to take the roadhouse away. So what, you're leaving now? Frankie, I told you from the jump, you should have hired that other guy. Don't run away. Are you really that afraid? Yes, I am afraid. More than you could ever understand. Afraid of killing somebody? You already threw a man to the crocodile wolves. We paid you the money. You're keeping your ass here. The wrong cops showed at the roadhouse, so Big Dick can't help us there. Uh, Y'all really call a grown man that? You'd have to kill me. Oh, he's about to see the, the glass, the store. Yeah. He about to see the store. Yeah. See, you can't leave. You can't run. It's time. Where's the little girl? The, that the little girl and her, her father. Ambulance took him to the hospital. Now get out of there. So you got a little message. I sure did. She's a cute girl. She's kind of stubborn. But like you. You shouldn't have said that, buddy. I was already leaving. We finally scared you off, huh? Uh, not exactly. You kept me. I just broke the hyoid bone in your throat. Probably also collapsed your trachea. Mm. Breathe anymore. Which means you die. I'm afraid of what happens when somebody pushes me too far. Because I know what happens next. Look, okay. Oh, don't kill him though. We like him. Hey man, I was just, I was just leaving. You for good. For, uh, yeah, we cool, Mo. I over, I overheard some of Brand's guys talking, and I guess there's a meeting at Harvest Key. Harvest Key. Oh my God. No. And he killed him. You got to be a crazy person to be a UFC fighter. Respect to y'all. I don't know how y'all do that day in and day out. Good Lord. Hey, behind you. I would say take it and run, but you got to think about Steven and his daughter. Jesus, did you just kill him? They'll know those bullets didn't kill him. Oh, what's that over there? Damn. It's Ellie. They have her. Brent's got her. He wants his money. You were talking some shit about short-term memory. <laughs> I don't know. I hit it. No, it's going to take a while. Where should I meet you? I wonder if he's lying. It's very possible. That's okay. I'll just tell him you took it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh. Let's go. <laughs> that's, that's it? <laughs> Boo. Oh, thank you. Where's my goddamn money? Oh, I gave it to him. Hey, okay. calm down. Ooh. I don't see Ellie anywhere. And... This guy looks pretty comfortable for a guy who just had his daughter kidnapped. It was a lie. Napping dumbass. Oh, <laughs> double cross. You actually believe that Ben took my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> About that, I did kind of 
take her. What? Ooh, another double cross. A double cross, the double cross. Big dick, sit down. Why are you calling a man that? Son of a bitch. Boys, do you want me to give you a second? Hey, stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> I just fuck. It's fine. It's funny. It's like. They really should just kill him and then just try to find the money. We'll get real crazy real fast. Hey, wait. God damn it. Stop. Wait. Sit down. You need Knox. Oh, there he is. Psycho. Okay. He's the only one who could take him on anyway. That man is there. Ah! <laughs> oh, there she is. I gotta make sure my uh, headphones didn't go out when I did that. Oh, uh, we good. We good. Way to give him a warning message. Hey, asshole! Watch out! You're gonna die! Brother, you aren't killing him. Go! Go! Especially announcing your every move. Oh my god! We've seen a man hit by a train. It was the back of his car. We've seen a dude hit with a car. And now we've seen this dude got hit with a boat. No fucking move! Oh my god. Looky here. Our own little octagon. What? Who taught you shapes? I think it was a figure of speech. Your fucking boyfriend! You don't like Knox. You don't like Dalton. You gotta realize Knox is your answer for Dalton or the best you got. These movies you just gotta chuckle at. <laughs> you just gotta chuckle at a man flying off, back flipping in the back of the boat. Oh, now come on, man. Oh, there you go, girl. Whoop his ass. Dalton, come on. No, no, no. You can't let him destroy the roadhouse. You know he did. Listen, I'm not saying that uh, Connor's going to win an Oscar, but I think for a role like this, he's doing pretty well. Right here. Will he, would he be able to do any other wor words or dialogue? I don't know. How is this man still alive? You can't have the graphic where this man go flying in the air. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then now he's just okay. Fucking fishing spear. Get his ass. Oh, right, buddy. Ugh. oh man. Oh, come. I'm done. By a car, you get hit by a boat, you get hit by this. What's next? A plane? This movie re reminds me of a little bit of Fast and the Furious now. Mm. Mm. Oh, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Oh. Uh, uh. Come 
on, Dalton. Come on, Dalton. Ooh. Dalton versus Knox. Where's the money at? Okay. 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 All that he he all that kiki keying and grinning over with. Connor about to go to work. <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. Okay. Be nice. This man is going all in. God dang. Oh, come on, Don. Come on, Don. I got a roof for Don. I like Conor McGregor. I like Knox. I got a roof for Dalton, though. I don't like the character Knox, but I do respect he's the only one who could give him a run for his money. We have to be friends first. Get him, Craig. Come on, Craig. In the same spot? The same exact spot. He's he's ready for that. He's ready for that. Do it! Do your fucking job! What does it take to shoot you up? What the hell? Snapping somebody's neck, then going into Enter the Sandman. That's a crazy transition. Ah, huh, 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 huh. That boy gonna get all kind of splinters and everything. I'm sorry. It's time for you to go, Dalton. Go. You have to go. Go. You were never here. Are you guys open today? Yeah. We're always open. I'm just gonna ride off into the sunset. That's always how the story ends, right? I don't think I'm the hero in this particular story, Charlie. So maybe you're not the hero. That's awesome. You ain't the villain either. They usually call that an anti-hero, right? That's tight. That's tight. I'm glad they survived. I'm glad they survived. I thought one of them was going to get got when we first met them. Just got done watching Roadhouse, the 2024 version. And I got to say, it's just a regular generic movie. I mean, you saw my reaction. I almost basically guessed what was going on. Uh, it just... Uh, the action scenes, seeing Conor McGregor, seeing them use real UFC footage. Because I remember when they recorded that during one of the events, because it was a big deal about it. That was fun. Seeing the camera angles. Ooh, ooh. Seeing the, you know, people getting hit by trains and stuff like that. I got the Fast and the Furious vibe from this movie. But the thing about Fast and the Furious is the story is actually it's pretty good. This story was just generic to the point where I almost dozed off twice. I got to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm not even going to lie. When the action came, all the action kept me going. The action, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm, I'm involved in the fight. But the story was just, man, am I the only one who feels like this? Y'all got to let me know in the comments. If you want to see the unedited full version, make sure you check me out on Patreon for that. I also put trailer reactions, trending topic videos on my Patreon as well, just to give you guys some exclusive content. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Peace.